Hey, cheers from Ed over at Antique Toys. We're going to do a quick tour. We're going to go from horse-drawn vehicles to horseless carriages and end up at an automobile. So, cheers from Ed over at Antique Toys. We are going to have some fun. Stay tuned for more. All right, well, we'll start with an older, if not one of the oldest pieces. This is J&D Stevens, Cromwell, Connecticut. And this toy probably is circa 1890, 1895. Uh, it's a jockey with horse. And as the horse goes, uh, the vehicle ends up having an action, which is gonna come in a second, but <clears throat> it's basically his arm hits the horse to get going so obviously this is the start a man on his horse on his cart uh, later on in the toy world this is similar to that 1890s uh, 1910 uh, handsome cab they called it you got the horse you got the taxi cab or cab driver or you have a lady rider and so this toy in cast iron, people were familiar with at the turn of the century. In theory, we jumped over directly to horseless carriages, but what's extra interesting is uh, a gentleman by the name of Marco Olympio uh, found this particular toy and it represents what I'm gonna call a missing link. You had early Americana, you tended to have cast iron and tin, but one of the last tin toys or this metal t-i-n one of the last 10 toys was this horseless carriage with rider very similar to a handsome cab but with an engine in it and uh this is a great find it's it's most likely fallows it's probably one of the last toys produced by the american tin maker fallows uh probably circa about 1895 1898 even uh, with a wind-up that goes and a tiller. Uh, we can show a picture later where there's a horse version in this last iteration of that company. They knew things were changing. So, exciting piece. A horseless carriage by follows, goes forward, and then it goes reverse, and then it goes forward. You then go from that to about 1900, 1905, we have a man and lady similar to the horseless carriage, but truly a horseless carriage. This is probably a steam powered toy or steam powered vehicle in the day. We actually have it as a wind up version of this Kenton toy. Uh, it's got the tiller that's before you had steering wheels. And this item, you wind up and then the back, once you take pressure off, you end up getting the wheels to run. Kind of a tricky toy. I don't want to wind it up and have it do a nosedive, but it's it's got full on carriage seating on top of a steam unit. And so this would be 1900 style. A little bit more refined than this guy. The steamer in the back tended to get bigger. This is a Harris. It's also a wind up toy with a tiller. Uh, this would be more of a runabout, an open runabout, which just means you'd literally go take little jaunts, little runabout trips. And open meaning there's no enclosure. And uh, it still has a very primitive spring system, but a little bit better than your solid axle buckboards. Uh, this, this is Harris, about 1900 or so. 1905, Kinton did a similar one. This is a Red Devil style. Um, I think I had this noted as it's also known as a locomobile, a uh, horseless carriage. And locomobile was kind of a brand, kind of like a, a Ford, a GM, in this case, locomobile. Uh, it's also cataloged as Jones and Bixler number 500, in addition to a 1910 Kenton cataloging horseless carriage. You got the tiller, uh, you've got a horn on the top, got a man in a derby, and all of this contraption back here would be for steam power. 
which, you know, isn't too bad these days from an environmental standpoint. Uh, later, you get a Hubley design. This would be more 1915, 1920. Um, and so the cast of iron marched, where you still have kind of open seating. And I'll hold this. You still have open seating with carriage type back, but you start to get an engine up front. Uh, so a petrol power engine. And this is a highly stylized spare, but the spare tire would be in the back. So beginning to end. And we have the Kenton. This is a post-war Kenton, but the design harkens from 1900, handsome cab, where you have the lady in the back, the chauffeur driving or taxi cab driver. And it was before the horseless version in terms of designs. And then the J.N. Stevens horse or mule with man. Here we have a Fallows horseless carriage, circa 1905. We have a Fallows heart-shaped wheel, Fallows decorative cutout on the side with the rounded edges. We've got a taxi cab type arrangement with a man on the top, very similar to a handsome cab, but it's a horseless handsome cab. And then this would be the tiller for driving. We've seen a toy like this with horses and we will share a photo. And you can see the clear evolution of Fallow's toy line from horses to no horses. Here's our Kenton early automobile where it's truly a horseless carriage. Original driver, tiller, Lady appears original. And you've got underneath it a wind up. Okay, here is Harris. This is their own version of an open a runabout or an early car. Most likely in the back it was steam powered. There's the key. But we have kind of a clockwork suspension style with a New England style spring, clock spring. It's got brass gears in it. Most of them are usually worn. Uh, we have a click, click, a detente in there for steering. Plus up with the locomobile, which is by Kenton and also cataloged by Jones and Bixler's number 500. It's the original driver with the derby where you could run about town and wear a nice suit. Okay, here's a close-up of the Hubbley toy. It's got this open louver for heat. There's also a way for Hubley to cut down on cost, less cast iron metal, less weight. There's that spare tire. All right, well, I appreciate your attention. This might have been a little long, but there's a lot to talk about. Keep us in mind if you have similar toys, whether you got Hobley, Kenton, you have Harris, uh, you have early American 10, like Follows, J and E Stevens. Please keep us in mind for toys, whether it's purchase, a consignment. Uh, we are also helping with Mars auctions and doing premier auctions each year, uh, multiple times. So let us know, toys at antiquetoys.com. My name is Ed. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like the video and I greatly appreciate your comments. Uh, comment below, let us know about anything you may have or just what you find cool and if you have a follow-up video. So enjoy. Cheers from Ed over at Antique Toys. Check out the links below and have a great day.